The story of our rum traces itself back more than 200 years. The year is 1815, and Jose Joaquin de Enchausti is born to Jose Antonio de Enchausti, a Basque trader. The de Enchaustis would eventually settle in the Philippines, calling the Pearl of the Orient their home. During the mid-1830s, trade restrictions were removed in Manila, opening its ports to Western trade. One of the country's prime exports was high-quality sugar, derived from local sugar canes, the key ingredient to rum making. At the time, the Spanish government had the monopoly on manufacturing spirits from sugar. This would, however, change. Local sugar planters lobbied to open up rum production in the country. By 1834, they succeeded, opening the doors of rum making to the willing visionaries of Manila. Where there is sugar, there is bound to be rum. The Inchaustis would see the drink as a golden opportunity, both literally and figuratively. By the 1850s, the business-minded family took a chance on the young but flourishing industry of rum making. Jose Joaquin Inchausti, at the time head of the family business, formed a partnership with Valentin Teus, who had recently acquired a distillery in Hagonoy, Bulacan. With Inchausti known for his trading and business skills, and Teus for his knowledge in rum making, the two needed someone who could expertly manage their new endeavor, which eventually led them to Joaquin Elizalde, Teus' cousin. This partnership was officially established in 1854, which paved the way for the first rum for distribution. This was the birth of Tanduay as a company. The christening of our rum was a proud moment, and Tanduay flourished throughout the country. This boom, however, was cut short as the corporation, along with the rest of Manila, found itself in the midst of a world at war. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Ten hours later, the attack on Manila commenced. Prior to leaving Manila, one of General Douglas MacArthur's orders was the closure of distilleries in order to safeguard the workers, citizens, as well as the city's infrastructure. With operations down, the company could do nothing but wait as the Japanese occupation of Manila commenced. The company recovered and celebrated its centennial in 1954, just 10 years after the war. The centennial marked the entrance of Senor Faustino Monaris, better known today as Tanduay's El Maestro. Master blender Monaris would further Tanduay's legacy by crafting distinct rums for the company. In 1965, Tanduay released its first five-year-old rum, which would win two medals from the Mond selection in 1971, an impressive mark of quality. By 1988, Filipino-Chinese businessman Lu Shotan acquired Dandwai Distillers from the Elizaldes, which was, at the time, one of the biggest corporate transfers. With its acquisition, Dandwai began a full-on modernization program that would eventually build on its entrance to the world stage. With more modern equipment and its sights set on global customers, the initial production of 2,000 cases per day jumped to 160,000. Tanduay's consistency and quality landed another award from the Mon selection in 1996. At the start of the 21st century, Tanduay celebrated its 150th anniversary. Tanduay first entered the United States under the brand Tanduay Asian Rum and was soon introduced to the rest of the world. By the end of 2017, Tanduay overtook other popular brands within its tier making it the world's largest selling rum. Our story is intertwined with the struggles and triumphs of the Filipino people. Each bottle we craft is a distillation of a rich history, coupled with a diverse cultural tapestry unique to the Philippines. Our tenacity, our passion, our commitment, our perseverance, we draw from traders who made their own in a foreign land from everyday Filipinos working in the distilleries, from sugarcane farmers in the fields of Panay and Negros, from surviving both invasion and occupation, from dedicated master craftsmen, from visionaries ahead of their time. 
We share our story with Filipinos, our past, our present, and undoubtedly, our future. This is the story of Tanduay.